Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, July 13th. At least seven people are injured after a car runs into several pedestrians and another vehicle in a busy Center City neighborhood yesterday. The accident at 10th and Sansom Streets happened just outside Jefferson University Hospital. Police say the car first jumped the curb, plowing into three people on the sidewalk there and then crossed over onto Sansom and hit an SUV with a family of three inside. An underground fire sent flames shooting from a manhole and into the air in Old City, Philadelphia this morning. The fire started early this morning at 4th and Market Streets. Police say Pico crews were working to restore power to nearly 50 customers when that fire started. Fortunately, no workers were injured. And Blobfest continues this morning in Phoenixville. The annual event celebrates the 1958 sci-fi film The Blob. Chopper 3 over the Colonial Theater last night to capture a reenactment of that famous run-out scene from the film. Today, the festival continues with the street fair. Now to the Eyewitness Weather Forecast with meteorologist Matt Peterson. Hi, Matt. Hey there, Jan. It is a day and a weekend that's going to be very nice and quiet across the Delaware Valley. So let's take a look at what's going on down in the tropics. We are, of course, talking about Tropical Storm Barry right now, bearing down on the Louisiana coastline. It is still a tropical storm at this point, but with water temperatures in the northern Gulf hovering in the 80s, it would not be surprising if we do see Barry become a hurricane, even if just briefly before making landfall throughout our Saturday. Here are the current stats on Barry 70 mile an hour sustained winds going northwest at about five miles an hour. So that 70 mile an hour sustained wind. We need to go about four miles an hour more for it to officially become a category one storm. At this point, though, our biggest concern while the winds will be a problem is the heavy rain and strong onshore flow. That will be the biggest problem. So flooding and water will be our takeaways. I think from Barry when it is all said and done, it will eventually travel northward and bring some heavy rain to areas like Arkansas and Missouri as well. Really looks like the crux of the heaviest rain is going to be coming in areas just to the west of New Orleans where we could see as much as a foot or more of rain before this system is totally out of the bayou. For today, if you're lucky enough to be down the shores, we bring, bring it back closer to home. 85 out on the sand, water temperatures in the 70s feeling great. Also, what you're going to notice through Saturday, Sunday and into early next week is our humidity is going to be dropping. Our comfort index will feel a whole lot better. 90 today in the city, 91 tomorrow, 80s Jan on Monday before some of that moisture from Barry starts to work its way into the middle of the week, bringing us a chance for a shower or a storm. All right, Matt, thanks so much. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.